this is Jason Bramlett coming to you with this week's video blog. Question of the week is, how do I know where to put the money into the house? What do I fix up? What, what is it that I can get a return on my investment? And this, this arose on the radio a couple weeks ago. And if you haven't listened to our radio show, give us a shot. It's 94.5 on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. to 9.30. But the question was, is I want to be able to invest a dollar in my home and get $2 back. And statistically, that is, on average, not really probable or possible. Most of the time, when we put money in our home, we are not even getting 100% of our money back, and we're certainly not going to double it. Uh, the, the statistics across the U.S. is you get about 82 cents for every dollar invested in your kitchen, and that's one of the highest, and everything else is much lower than that. Now, where you can make money in real estate is in buying it at the right price. But it's not the improvement that is fixing, uh, raising the value. It is the fact that you just bought the home properly. You bought it at the appropriate price for the condition that it was in. But if I have a home that I just bought, maybe it's five years old, me going in and remodeling the kitchen, uh, there probably would be zero to no return on that money simply because the, the, it's a five-year-old kitchen. Where you could see a benefit is if you bought an older home, and say the kitchen had been remodeled in 30 years. Well, no matter what you do to it, it should increase the value of the overall home. But sometimes it's still not 100%. Usually if it's skipped a couple generations, so if it's 20, 30 years old and it's skipped multiple updates, you can get a pretty nice return overall. But in reality, you simply bought the home at a larger discount, typically. We have a whole entire list of things that you can get the best possible bang for your buck. You can also go online and get this information. But we, um, actually that's a nationwide study, and we kind of look at the things right here in the triad to tell you or to be able to give you some guidance that if you spend $10,000 in XYZ, how much can you expect to get in return? And sometimes it's, you know, 40 cents on the dollar, and sometimes it's 80 cents on the dollar. But we can give you some pretty good metrics on that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video blog question. If you have a question, you can send it in right here. Of course, again, on the radio every Saturday, 9 to 9.30 on 94.5 FM. Uh, JasonBramlett.com or call the office, 553-0796. Make it a great week. We'll see you next time right here.